the summer of 2021, my little sister McKenna and I set out on another great adventure around the United States, this time around West Texas and the New Mexico area. Come join us as we visit some national parks, some really cool towns, and some West Texas staples. First up, Marfa, Texas. We spent our time in Marfa staying at the famous Hotel Pesano, known for its old Hollywood charm and its memorabilia of the movie Giant. Hey McKenna, do you want to go for a swim with Jesus? And of course, you can't forget to check out the gift shop where we had the most helpful staff. 10 out of 10 to the people who work at Hotel Pesano. They're awesome. This place was definitely cool and brought back all of the old Hollywood charm. Be advised at Hotel Pesano, there is no elevator. So whatever you bring, you are carrying up those stairs. Next up, our adventures took us and our hungry selves to the water stop for some great dinner. This place was super charming and the food was delicious. We got here during the week, so it wasn't super crowded. You can't come to Marfa without what it's known for, the Marfa Lights. We are going alien hunting. We're at the Marfa Lights Viewing Center um, and we are hopefully gonna see some spooky alien lights. That's our goal, fingers crossed. It's kind of a cloudy day, but we just decided we'd come back every single night until we see them. Um, so fingers crossed that we see some spooky alien lights tonight. You can't see me because that's how dark it is out here but we made it to the viewing light center, the lights viewing center, whatever it's called. It seems like we're kind of the only ones. It's so dark. When we walked up though, there was this woman like scream sobbing. So I don't know what that's about. Kind of, kind of freaked by that, but uh, hopefully it's not that scary. Here we go. There's the Marfa light that you can't see. They keep dancing with the devil, but he doesn't have a back. No, no. All right, so we made it back to our hotel room, safe and sound. We survived, we did not get abducted by aliens, but we did see the Marfa lights and we met a really cool guy named Gary. He was awesome. Gary, if you're out there, we love you. Thank you for teaching us about constellations, the Marfa lights and uh, the Texas State uh, High School one act play competition in 82. I think, I think, I think that's it. Gary, we love you. The lights were absolutely insane. They were crazy. They were like these little um, red orbs that would just like float and then they'd get more intense and, and dim and then they'd like move around. And um, that was the craziest part, the fact that they would move so quickly from side to side, which just we didn't expect at all. I totally recommend going to do that. Um, we came and saw them on a really rainy, cloudy day um it stopped raining by the time we went there but there were a couple locals that were there and of those locals they all told us that cloudy weather is the best time to see them and like when there's lightning and stuff and we had it perfect it was cloudy um there was no rain but we saw a bunch of the marfa lights and then the clouds cleared and we got to see all these beautiful stars so totally worth it uh tomorrow we are gonna explore marfa a little bit and get some brunch at one of the local spots and then uh, go hike in Big Bang. Good morning from Marfa, Texas. Uh, we are on our way walking from our hotel to a place called Sentinel uh, for breakfast. However, we woke up pretty late because alien hunting kind of took it out of us last night.
So we are at the Sentinel for breakfast and we got some delicious breakfast tacos, um, some really good iced coffee. And weather's perfect, we're sitting outside. Hey McKenna. <laughs> she hates me. <laughs> she didn't want to be on camera. Um, but we're sitting outside and it's so cute and peaceful. Um, all the people we've met here have just been lovely. Um, yeah, there's little cactuses everywhere and like, like look at this place. Yum. So the verdict is in Sentinel. Delicious. And the building's really cool. It's like a newspaper shop and there's like a lot of things you can buy in there that are very like eclectic and just neat. We'll probably look around it in a minute, but the coffee, really good. Um, and we're sitting outside on this like nice little cute courtyardy porch situation. That's in, would recommend. McKenna, what would you rate your experience here at Sentinel? It was cool. It was cool. Cole, anything to add? It was quite cool. Demolished. <laughs> and like really feel the aesthetic like kind of go into you, you know? Like just really get it. Okay. There you go. Aesthetic. It's a cactus. This is a sad cactus. He doesn't have any spikes. What are your thoughts? On what? The sad cactus with no spikes. Uh, it lives a peaceful life. Ah, oh, it's positive. You heard it here first, folks. We stumbled upon Truckland Marfa. I guess these are the trucks. Sick. So while Cole is doing his interview, McKenna and I are going to drive around Marfa, see what we can see, see where we stop off at, hopefully find some cool art and good shops. Instead, McKenna and I are making our way to the ballroom, which we've heard is like a really cool art gallery, art installation situation. Uh, so we'll see what they have to see in here. Wah, wah, wah. Dang it, another not open. It's time to be super proud of us. We found a place that's open on a Monday. We're going to uh, frame off from a Frame a copy from a copy. I don't know, we're getting copies. I'm very happy.